Hey, if you guys want the most safe and most reliable NBA 2K19 stacked accounts, you guys can go check out SportsTMB.com. You guys, he has a lot of accounts you guys can go check out. So, if you guys do decide, make sure you use your boy Sam at checkout. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the video. Oh, and I said, I count 50s, I'm at honey's yo 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 what's up youtube it's your boy sam in today's video we're gonna get in depth with 2k20 but first i want to start off with the vc glitch ban that you guys been telling me all about but first if you guys did not notice there was an update which is patch 1.10 which really doesn't matter but it does i'm saying it doesn't matter because 2k20 is five days away well four days for me since i did pre-order and you guys are going to get a copy of free pre-order also. So four days away, five days away, let's go. But let's get into this video, man. But first off, I want to start by talking about the VC glitch for 2K20. And everybody, I want to answer you guys' question one-on-one. -on -one. So first, we're going to start out with the VC. You guys, if you do the VC glitch and you already familiar with the 15K VC glitch, if you end up going over 150,000 under a day, you guys will get banned. Trust me, it did happen to me, but I did wait a day, but I didn't wait that long of a day because when I did the glitch, I did it at like 12 in the morning when I got the 150K, then I stopped and woke back up like six hours later. But do not do the VC glitch more than 150,000 VC a day. So you guys can get 130,000 then the next day another 130,000 which is going to add up to 260,000 VC in two days. Tell me who doesn't want that easy VC. But you can get all of this VC under a day and you are super close to maxing out your player to a 85 overall. So on to our next 2k20. Is there going to be VC glitches for 2k20? Is there going to be glitches period? Yes guys I had a lot of people ask me this. Yes, there will be glitches on 2K20. And if you guys did not see my last video, I did do a rec center glitch when you joined a friend. You do get 500 VC every time you join a friend. So it's like every 30, 40 seconds. But that is patched now. If you guys did not see it, that really sucks because that glitch was insane. But on to the next. Oh, we got crossed. <laughs> but that's still my boy Cashy, man. He's a go. But to move on to our next topic, what do I think about 2K20, the demo? I know this is a little late, but my overall thoughts and opinions on it, I really didn't like it. <laughs> I really did not like it. I like how you can um, make your player so unique. It's like your real player. Like you wanted to make him like a little inch, a little smaller, you can do that. If you want to make his body tone bigger, you can do that. It's not the same, just like 2K smaller or shorter. I really like that but I did not like the demo as much I did play the gameplay but the shot meter was so oh man I don't even want to speak about it because it was so bad to me no offense 2k but I don't know y'all gotta do some next year bro I hope it's not trash y'all see he just missed that dunk but I don't know why he tried to dunk over two defenders he should have got it animation gave it to him but you know 2k is 2k every year so let me know what you guys think about the demo. Also, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on it. In my opinion, I really, really don't like it because you guys see I barely did videos on 2K20. Even when the demo came out, I did not live stream it. You, I just didn't like it because how can you like make the graphics like it was a little better. Do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. But just look at the gameplay in my career the demo they gave us i feel like 2k18 prelude was better than this but those are just my opinions man but on to the next topic for everyone that has ever been banned in 2k history on 2k19 you watch my vc glitch you did it three times six times ten times how many times you ever did it if you guys got banned you will not be banned in 2k20 i believe when you do get banned for vc glitches they do put a time span on it for two weeks or you guys can get banned for life when i meant banned for life i meant just your player is going to be banned for 2k so you can't play on that account you have to make another one so 
that rarely does happen it's just for youtubers who posted that really get that hard down ban like badge plug he did before but we're not going to speak on that the past is a past so to clear all of this up if you any of you got banned for the vc glitch you guys that two week span will be over but if you did the vc glitch and you still didn't get unbanned after two weeks or so you guys can contact 2k support and ask them what's wrong with your account to keep in mind i have never ever 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 been banned on 2k19 2k18 2k17 i have never been banned except for when i did the vc glitch 150,000, and i kept going within a day but that was doing it on a friend's account which was sad but i still do this glitch all the time the most i do get is like a hundred thousand in a day so i won't be too crazy going to 145 five thousand or what no nah, i can't do that <laughs> y'all want to stay as far away as you can from 150 thousand that's why i was doing 130 thousand and 100 thousand so on to the last bit of information about the vc if you do want to do the vc glitch a lot of you been asking me can i make a video on how to stack the vc how to you stack the vc without creating multiple players doing this repetitive getting bored you want the maximum vc doing little effort so all you want to do is when you do the regular vc endorsement glitch once you guys have your 15,000 vc but you did not collect the VC, so your endorsement is still has a yellow tick marker on it to show you that it's still available. You want to wait 24 hours exactly. It can be more, but it cannot be under 24 hours or you're going to have to restart. So you want to wait 24 hours. Don't forget, your endorsement's still there, a yellow tick marker on there. So all you want to do is just easily come back 24 hours later, do the endorsement glitch three times again because your endorsement's still there from yesterday and so when you come back the 24 hours you just do the endorsement three times again then it'll stack to 30,000 this is the second day then if you wait a third day you wait another 24 hours that's another 15k added when you do it three times again because you're not cashing it at all until you're done stacking it every single day so for instance since it is five days until 2k20 does come out if you did this for five days and i'm talking about the stacking method not the regular back to back 15k 16k back to back 100k in a day 100k 130k in a day this is i'm talking about the stacking where like i was just explaining 15k a day so like i said if you did this for five days that's 80,000 vc before 2k20 comes out so if you guys want an easy 80,000 vc just for doing the endorsement goods three times a day on the same player on the same endorsement check to stack up that's how you do it to end this video off i want to show you some new news about 2k20 some details on the 95 to 99 end game of NBA 2K20, you level up or down based on wins slash losses and on court performance, not teammate grade. It's a new elevation system that's more stat based like take over. So listen, what I'm taking from this is when you're 95 to 99 overall, you level up or down based on wins and losses. So you guys know how in the park, if you did take an L just regularly, you don't have to be a 95. You do go down your rank amateur well the elites the best and it's pros then amateurs of course but if you do lose your rep does go down so it says for overall which is crazy now listen i might have read that totally wrong about the overall guys but let me know if i'm tripping but if that really does happen in the game keep in mind five days from release date this does happen that's going to be a crazy crazy new system that they're adding in the game but like i said don't quote me on it quote mike wang i don't know if i read that totally wrong but if i did please let me know i do not want to mix you guys up but if you do enjoyed any of the vc glitches i did post or help you guys with you guys 2k20 is going to be even more better more glitches more everything so you guys been really looking for these glitches this is a time to subscribe but 
If you don't, that's okay with me. You guys will see me regardless posting these glitches. Ooh wee man. But if you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like and sub button for more 2K20 and 2K19 glitches. But it's your boy Sam and I'm out. Get that VC. Peace.